So I'm going to show you guys how to get to the top 10% in Guardian Games for the third and final week. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how we got over 340,000 points in the competitive playlist for Guardian Games without any cheese. I will however skip all of the traveling parts to make this video a lot shorter for both of our sakes. <laughs> Believe it or not, getting to the top 10% is easier than you think. You need a group of very coordinated people, so I recommend that all of the members in your group have a mic. Just like week two, the key to getting top 10% is to emote and then finish every enemy that is not a red bar. So that means all of the yellow bars, including the champions. Doing this will grant you the finishing touches as well as the insult to injury medals each time. Each yellow bar enemy will give you close to around 10,000 points, or if it is a champion, it definitely will give you 10,000 points um, if you emote, then finish them. However, there are a few enemies that we weren't able to finish because, well, we accidentally just killed them. Just make sure it says that you did the emote on the bottom left of the screen before you actually do the finisher or you won't get both medals. Unlike week two, there is not a good place to farm enemies, so it's really a race against time to get to the boss at the end. Just do the Scarlet Keep as you would normally, and then emo and finish all of the yellow bar enemies, which include wizards as well as knights and then any champions, and then make sure your team kills all of the red bar enemies. When you get to the elevator, only one member needs to stay behind. When you stay behind, this will spawn a Shrieker as well as three Wizards. If you are fast enough, you can kill a Shrieker and then try to take down the Wizards and then proceed to emote and finish them. If you're not able to, like, well, me, <laughs> just go ahead and send a rocket their way and at least just kill them. When you get to the boss room, emote and finish the two Wizards and then melt down the boss as fast as you can so she puts up her white shield and then all of the ads will spawn. Take care of all the ads in the room the same way you did the rest of the mission. Kill all the red bar enemies and then emo and finish all of the yellow bar enemies as well. The boss actually has three phases, but he actually summons ads about four times. After you get the boss's shield off the third time, do small amounts of damage to her until she gets around 10 to 15% health. And then she will actually summon more ads, but she will not put up her shield a fourth time. After all the ads are killed, go ahead and finish off the boss. Like, kill her because you can't actually do a finisher on her. <laughs> Hopefully this helps you guys out to get top 10% in Guardian Games for week 3 as we did. And hopefully, you don't make the same mistakes as I did by killing some of the yellow bar enemies. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys scored in the competitive playlist for Guardian Games if you did this without a cheese. And if you say something like 500,000 points, well, I want to see the footage on that. <laughs> I'll post the full run of this video after this if you guys want to go ahead and see it. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.